actually go several steps ahead and it brings everybody with them. And that's the general principle that we're using to basically get right now, to Mars faster. How has the marriage been though? Because you do really have sort of two very different spouses in NASA and Elon Musk, you know? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, how, how, how has this marriage worked and what's, what is the real story? I mean, results matter. There, there are results right now. We're watching them up close. But how has that been? Because you have the rebel billionaire and you have the buy the book agency. Well, I like to look at even what we seen in the press conference is the way these people talk to each other you can tell that they have figured themselves out you know that they have figured out how to forge relationships and part of it is i think that the mission is the same the mission is to explore and to go further and to build the hardware and make sure that basically you know a diverse bunch of people can get to go and not just a few and when i think when they focus on that i mean i see the bridges in between individual disciplines and even i mean they're watching movies together during you know during the quarantine they had the the flight control team spacex and uh, nasa were watching uh, i call them boy movies i think i think there is a there's a show bob and doug mckenzie i think that was a favorite <laughs> and, and christina curious if we can just like kind of piggyback on that your thoughts on space tourism and the idea of should space just be open for people who have experience or come one and all? So they're going to continue under the power of this. I am definitely in the come one and all camp, and I think that that's the prevailing theory right now. You know, NASA's job was to incubate this until it was ready for release into the private sector, until it was commercially viable, and that's when it's better to hand it off to companies like SpaceX. So that NASA has set it it's on parts of this may not quite yet be commercially viable to get them to those points. That's things like going back to them this decade and eventually on to Mars. So I say anyone who's curious, anyone who has a desire to dream, to carry humanity's dreams with them into space and to share it when they get back, to contribute to the science on the frontiers, I